All right, today we're gonna learn how to draw two-point perspective boxes. All right, today we're gonna learn the basics of two-point perspective. We will eventually move on to drawing these as cities, but today we're gonna draw two-point perspective boxes just to learn and get comfortable with the basics. You're going to need your ruler, and you need to start with a horizon line. Your horizon line is where the sky meets the ground. And for us today, we're gonna put it right in the center of our paper. Now your vanishing points always have to be on the horizon line. And because we're doing two point perspective, we need two vanishing points. So on the left side, I'm gonna draw a dot and I'm gonna call it VP1 for vanishing point one. And on the right side, I'm gonna draw a dot and I'm gonna call it VP2 for vanishing point two. So I'll refer to them the rest of the time. Now, to start our first box, we're gonna draw a line that starts above our horizon line and ends below it. I'm going to then connect the bottom of that line, that first line to vanishing point one. Draw it kind of lightly because you're gonna have to erase it in a few minutes. And then I'm gonna draw the bottom of that line to vanishing point two. I'm gonna connect the top of that line to vanishing point one and the top of that line to vanishing point two. So I end up with something that looks kind of like a diamond or a kite. Then I'm gonna line up my ruler, the edge of that first line, and I'm gonna push it towards vanishing point one and I'm gonna connect the two perspective lines that I just drew. Then I'm gonna line it up again and push it towards vanishing point two and connect the two perspective lines on that side. Then I'm gonna take my eraser and I'm gonna erase the rest of the perspective lines that go to vanishing point two and the rest of the perspective lines that go to vanishing point one, as well as the horizon line that goes through my first box so that my first box looks solid. And I've got my first two-point perspective box. My next box is going to be below my horizon line. So on the left side, I'm going to draw a starting line in the corner of my box. On the bottom of that line, I'm going to connect it to vanishing point one. On the bottom of that line, I'm going to connect it to vanishing point two. Top of that line will go to vanishing point one, and the top of that line will go to vanishing point two. I'm gonna line up my ruler with this first line, push it towards vanishing point one, and connect the two perspective lines. Line up with the center line again and push it towards vanishing point two, and connect the two perspective lines. And now I have what looks like an awkward, sort of an open book shape. I need to do the top and the top must also be in perspective. So you're gonna connect the top corners with the opposite vanishing point. So if I start on the top right corner, I'm gonna connect that to the left vanishing point or vanishing point one. Then I'm gonna go to the top left corner and connect it to the right vanishing point, which is vanishing point two. That gives me the top of that box in perspective. Then I'm gonna go ahead and erase the rest of those perspective lines. Be as careful as you can going through that first box, but you can always go back if you end up erasing some of your line. You can always go back and redraw it in a second. Now we've got two two-point perspective boxes. Let's do one above the horizon line. Draw a line above the horizon line. I'm gonna do this one on the right side. I'm gonna connect the bottom to vanishing point one. Now, if you do not wanna draw through, like all the way across where you've got to erase, you can actually just draw 
and then stop and pick it up. Just give yourself enough of a line that you know that it does go to vanishing point one. And the bottom to vanishing point two. And the top to vanishing point one. You might as well draw that one all the way through because you're not going to go through another box anyways. And the top to vanishing point two. Okay, and then you're going to line up with your first line, your corner line. Push towards vanishing point one. And connect the two perspective lines. And line up and push towards vanishing point two. Connect the two perspective lines. It is really important that all three of these lines are parallel, meaning that they could run next to each other forever and never intersect. You do not want this line to start to reflect the slant of the perspective lines. You still want it parallel with that center line. Okay, then we're gonna start for the bottom of this box, we're gonna do the exact same way that we did the top of the box over here. So you're gonna start with the bottom left, which means it needs to go across to the right perspective, or sorry, vanishing point, or vanishing point number two. Then the bottom right needs to go across to the left vanishing point, or vanishing point number one. And again, you don't have to draw it all the way across, you can actually draw it just until they intersect, and then pick it up, and that gives you the bottom of your box. And you erase the rest of your perspective lines. And you've got a box, two point perspective box above the horizon line. Now you can stop, replay, rewind this video as many times as you need to. But I want you to spend some time practicing and I want you to fill up this paper with boxes. When you're finished, I want to see three boxes on the horizon line, three below and three above, which means you need to add two more of each. Go ahead and do that now. Alright, it is my hope that your page looks something like mine when you're finished. Um, you may have put more boxes, which is great. I will never complain about you practicing extra. I do want to point out on these two, you probably noticed I did not line up my ruler and push towards the vanishing points in these directions because wherever I connected would have been back behind this building or behind this um, block, so I didn't have to. I was able to just use the sides of this block to end those because these lines are all parallel to one another. Um, so hopefully you can see how easily this would be um, turned into a city, turning these into looking like buildings. And that's what we're going to do in our next video. Practice these first, feel really comfortable with this, and once you feel good, move on and let's look at the two-point perspective city video. I'll see you then. Have fun and keep creating.